Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Patterson's Taking the Trains to Tibet. Uh, you know, weather's always a, uh, how we say, a, a good topic. Let me turn this thing a little bit. This way. Okay, weather's always a good topic. I mean, everybody talks about the weather, because weather always changes, so was, you talk about changes, you know what I mean? And it could be, one, like for instance, going into this week, it was hot in good bedrooms, oh, summer's here, planting is going well, blah, 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 blah. Yesterday, it was kind of cold, okay, fine, an anomaly, or, well, you know, or was, or was, or was, let me put it away, I, Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, uh, explained weather one time, he says, like, it's like you're walking a dog, you know what I mean, you got him on a leash, right, and, uh, the, the, the weather's like you sort of going that way. You could predict, you know, because the dog wants to go that way. But you got to unleash it so the dog is meandering here and there. So, though you got this trajectory, big word, I like them big words. Got the trajectory, brother probably know what it means, but it sounds good. You got that trajectory, you know, and that, that's where you, your weather sort of pattern, you, you're seeing something like that. But it's, it's running all over the place. Sometimes it's just more, more cold and hot. So that's what we have right now in the. Uh, I bring that up only to say it's like things change, but you know, to the trajectory, you know, you can sort of tell, right? Well, look, I, I, it's it's it, this is a tea tirade, and it's it's a Tuesday, so usually it's about the U.S. You know, because you know it's Tuesday U.S. Wednesday is World Day, uh, Thursday is audio drama. Hey, here we go. Uh, Friday is like a, whatever I missed the week of a, whatever I don't know figured out. Uh, Saturday is whatever comes to my head. Sunday is, is like, a, a, well, it's stuff. And uh, Monday is me day. So now we're here on Tuesday, right? Okay. Now, the whole big thing is like Barack Obama comes out of whatever he comes out of from flying, from Richard Branson flying on his behind to, you know, to, he landed. Boo! <laughs> he landed. Boo! Richard, I guess, was right behind him, landed with him. Boo! <laughs> so, it must have been a hard landing, you know, because the boy then lost his lost lost his mind. Do look if you didn't grow up in a culture, I I didn't grow up in a closer culture here. I'm in, in the middle of a, a, a I'm in a stronghold for for, for, for for closer culture. This is this is the Eastern Cape, right? We got more forts in the Eastern Cape because there were a lot there a lot of fighting, there were a lot of fighting. The closer people, everybody gives the, the whoever this, you know. The, nah, you don't mess with the closest. I'm just telling you, okay? Letting you know, right? So I wouldn't come in here and, and presume to start talking closer and, and doing slang, you know. Like, like for instance, a, a friend of mine who always says, it's a lot of people, run, they always say South African phrase, they always say shop. You know, it's like later. It's like I say later, they, they'll say shop. Well, shop just means like at the end, like the, it means something, right? But I don't use the term. Because I don't feel like I'm a part of the culture. In fact, what I do is I double down on, you know, black American culture, but we won't get into that right now. The point is, so if you didn't grow up in the culture, i.e. you grew up in, uh, uh, well, I guess, you know, Hawaiians, you know, they used to be black. You know, they were black when they first got, because they had the black king and the queen, and then the, the colonizers came in, you know. But it's still, it's, it's, it's an altered reality, you know what I mean? So, so if you grew up in, in, in Hawaiian culture through, 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 through high school, and then, 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 then your, your, your whatever years you go to Indonesia and you live in a compound with a, with a big time Indonesian who's part of the, you know, you learned to do the And so, so, so Hawaii, you know, I think you have a lot of black girls or black situations, even though you're on a basketball team, well, there you go. Uh, but it's not a black basketball team, so it's good. You see what I'm saying? And then you go to Indonesia, so you with the Indonesians, like, you know, I, I go to India, I don't be running around trying to be Indian. Well, I can wear the long gear and I can, put, you know, I, I wear something on my head or, cause I do that anyway. But I don't be per perpetrating that I'm Indian or Hinduin. I guess it's supposed to be Hinduin. Indian is, if I was the Indians, I would change, never mind. I don't run around thinking I'm Hinduin, you know, or any other derivative. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm I'm of a Tamil doing, even though I look Tamil, I can I get up for shaving or you know, long ride the bike and they speaking to me in Tamil. I don't make like I'm Tamil, you know. <laughs> and so 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 anyway, so Barack Obama lands, boom, loses his mind, you know, 
or thinks he's all that, and as we used to say in black culture, and a bag of chips, you know? <laughs> but he ain't. So now he comes and he try to get on the, on the, it, 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 see, everybody calls it the, the pound cake speed. That's, that's when Bill Cosby he had been out of touch with, with, the, with the real black community for a long time. So now he comes on his high horse, I like to say. High horse, like a high horse, you got a horse, you, you see the peasants, you know, you see the, the, the multitudes, you're on your horse, is really high, everybody sees you, you know. Meanwhile, horse, horse is pooping all over the place, so people, you know, and then you say, blah, 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 you, you, you do the, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, explanation, a declaration, you know, and you tell people what they, they should do. Now, remember, you ran your high horse, it came from your big castle, you know, so you don't really know what's going on, you're not hanging with the down tribe. Then you go saying, and my brave fellowins, <laughs> fellowins, we got to do this, fellowins, we got to do that. Why? Because it's good for the castle, right? And then you right, 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 right on, right? So I don't want to, you know, I don't like to, another horse thing in here, I don't like to beat a dead horse. <laughs> but, but Obama a dead horse. I know you think, let me put it this way. Richard Branson was riding on his high horse, Obama being a horse, and he done rode that boy to death. That the forces that be, you know, they 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 used the boy who who came from Hawaii and, and went to Indonesia and then came back to hang out in, in Colum Oh, there is a Columbia story about. Oh, I got a good Columbia story that I can't repeat. Well, well, I got a Columbia story with with uh, with Barry Obama. You know what I mean? I'm gonna tell you real quick. This is just a shortcut, right? Uh, there was an incident in, in, in City College. I say Columbia. Well, he was going to Columbia at the time, you know. At City College, they needed they did they, they needed somebody to deal with something and da da da, and so so they wanted a black person to they somebody new law, and so they 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 tried to hire uh, Barry Obama to do this, right? He was Barry back then. Barry Obama to do this, right? And they they hired him, right? And the boy came one time, but then he didn't show up. It was a black situation. So he didn't do the bidding, but I guess he was still hanging out with the white girls then. Anyway, because he was in New York, he didn't get to Chicago. He didn't, he didn't get black till he got to Chicago and went to a black church. And hey, going to a black church will we'll, we'll bona feed you up. Bona feedies? Yeah, bona feedies you up. But, mm, mm, mm. but once, you, once you get that endorsement or you get that blackness, and then later on you jettison that blackness, so you go right back to... I guess Indonesia, or you go right back to Hawaii, or you go back to the white girls, you go back to something, right? <laughs> you know, it don't stick. If you go to a church a couple of times, it don't stick. I'm just saying. I mean, this is a little aside. I grew up Catholic, and I'm, well, I'm, a, I'm an eclectic pluralist right now, but don't worry about that part, right? But when I'm back in the States, when I go to, to, to Virginia, my, my sister's church is... Uh, is, 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 is St. Mary's, oh, it's a basilica now, right? So it's a black basilica. So I got bona fides, you know, if I go back, you know, and I, I, go, I go to church with my sister, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's the only black, bona, it's the only black American, American African basilica in, you know, Catholic basilica in all, all the world. So anyway, Jeremiah writes, churches like don't, it's a black liberation Church, gee, <laughs> that's what it is, you know. Anyway, so the boy must have, must, I guess, and then all the time when you're, um, when you're in the White House, you keep on inviting celebrities, you know, you keep on inviting celebrities, you know, you can't invite somebody like, uh, well, when we're the downtrodden, right? And so you surround yourself with celebrities and they're all doing it. Hey, <laughs> the White House, the White House that black people built. And so now you feel like, hey, I got some, you know, I got the basketball players. Which, oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go off again. The worst thing that was ever done, one of the worst things, one of the worst things that was ever done, it wasn't his fault necessarily. But you know, when that incident, when, when, we, when the basketball players was gonna go on strike basically to highlight you know, um, uh, injustices done to, to, to black folks in general, and they had this decision to make. And so, because you know, all the players, they were enamored by Barry, uh, by the talker. By the by, the lecturer in chief, <laughs> right? they said, "Well, what should we do?" Oh, oh, I guess here they said, "Oh, father, what what should we do?" Right? And so Le LeBron was the big man in, in the, the, the 
about it. So he came in, he said, well, well, I tell you, now, of course, the, the basketball players did not do their due diligence because if they did, they would have known that Barack Obama, he was named as the African face of basketball. In other words, they want to get all these black uh, Africans, you know, or, you know, or black guys from Africa to, you know, be eventually be the replacement for the, for, for all the kids that had to come from the ghetto and blah, 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 blah. Right? And, and so, uh, he did, so the LeBron and I guess the, the brothers, the brothers, the real brothers, basketball playing brother. I guess that's what I guess that when, when, when Brock Bond says brothers, he means basketball brothers. So he should don't, no, don't mind. Let me go back. And so they asked him, what should we do? And he says, well, I, I think uh, perhaps you should, uh, should play the game. There was a moment we have many moments of black liberation. I guess that wouldn't have been good because they, they didn't play the game. Then they would say, they would, they would say the athletes got, a, got, a, got, got liberation for black people. Only people that can liberate black people are black people. I mean, the downtrodden, us, the, 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 the real sons of the soil. Hey, even Africans started to say, nah, man, Barack Obama ain't the son of this soil, right? The, 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 the Africans that I know, they done jettisoned Barack Obama a long time from being African. He, he's a African, but hey, it, he ain't been back to, to, it don't matter. So my point is this. I am not going to jump <coughs> on the uh, on bashing Kamala Harris. It's not her fault. Of course, you know, she's chosen. They, she got to do what they say. Like, uh, uh, Barack Obama was chosen, and, and they, they said the first thing you got to do is give up that list, you know, because you, you got a whole way you could... You can usurp our whole process. You know, you, you can become the king of everything. So, no, you got to give that lift up and, and, and get rid of your, your, your progressive support or certainly get rid of your, the black, or, or you ain't been black anyway, so it don't matter. You know, that's easy. But, you know, so they said all that. And he did all that. And now they got, I hesitate to say, I said, now we got Barry Obama, I think it was .02 talk about Kamala Harris. She ain't even up to, you know, uh, being a good actress, you know, to, to perpetrate a fraud. I mean, you know, at least, at least when Barry wake up, he see a black woman. When Kamala wake up, she ain't got no black friends. Her, she ain't got no black family. She ain't got no black nothing. <laughs> so <laughs> when I say black, I mean American Africans. That's, you know, people like that look like me and went through my my kind of you know from the, my favorite section of the Bronx you know the daddy who was he down all over the world these guys I'm hanging with the downtrodden you know, and then wherever wherever where, where, I'm, I'm with the peoples anyway so so they sick come here doggy come here come on come on Branson done tamed you you know he done broke you done bro, bro, broke you so get out there and tell your brothers that's what brother what what's expected. And he goes there, and the brother's going like, who this man? Who, who this Negro? That's the guy from the high horse. No, no, he the horse, not the high horse. He's not the guy on the high horse. He the horse. We don't be listening to our animals, man. We don't be, no. So that's what happened. They tried to, they tried, but they failed. In fact, it's done, done backfired because uh, say what you will. Black men, when they get together, they really are together. Black women, if they're going to keep on going with this, on this uh, Harris train, well, it ain't going to bode well, you know, because cause she ain't talking to you. She got to talk to Doug. You know, like Obama had to talk to Richard Branson. She caught to talk to Doug. Wherever you go, there's always a white guy in charge. Darn it. Talk to you later.